everyone. Here is a video with brief explanation of second order partial derivatives with one example. If a function has several variables, we can find a higher order partial derivatives of that function. The second order partial derivatives are built on the first order derivatives. That means that the second derivative is defined as a derivative of the first derivative. Now about the notation. The notation of the second order partial derivatives is very important and let's take a look at them. The second order partial derivatives of the function with respect to x, we can see here we need to differentiate two times with respect to x. Similarly, the notation here is telling us to find the partial derivative with respect to y two times. Now, given the same function, there is an option for a mixed second order partial derivatives of the function. As per the notation here, we can see it is telling us to find the partial derivative with respect to x and then the partial derivative with respect to y in that order. Looking at these first notations, we work our way from right to left. So we are taking a partial derivative with respect to x first and then with respect to y second. On the last notation here, we can see we find the partial derivative with respect to x and then with respect to y. So we can see that the order here is left to right and we can use either of these two notations. Here on this last one we have reverse notation. We can see that we are taking partial derivative with respect to y first and then the partial with respect to x. So as we can see here the last two are different notations and they are called mixed partial derivatives. So to sum up, for second order partial derivatives, there are a total of four possibilities. Let's do an example now. Given a function x squared y cubed z plus 3x cubed y plus cosine z, find the second order mixed partial derivative of the function. Now let's recall our formula from earlier. We will first differentiate with respect to y and then with respect to x as per the formula. So the order goes from right to left. When differentiating with respect to y, that means that we will treat x and z as constants. So we have partial derivative of the function with respect to the partial derivative of y. And now I will rewrite the, the function here. And we have x squared is a constant, y cubed, derivative of y cubed is 3y squared z is a constant. Next we have 3x cubed, a constant, and now the derivative of y is simply 1, so I won't write 1 here. Next this term here cosine z. When differentiating cosine z with respect to y, that means cosine z is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is simply 0. Now I will reorder this. So we have 3x squared y squared z plus 3x cubed. Now to find the mixed partial derivative, this expression here will be differentiated with respect to x while treating 
z and y as constants. So we have, I will write here the notations just to make it clear. So I will rewrite the function from which we are taking the derivative. So we have 3x squared, y squared, z plus 3x cubed. And we have 3 times x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. y squared and z are constants. Plus 3 times derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Now let's rewrite this. We have 3 times 2 is 6x y squared z plus 3 times 3 is 9x squared. So this is it for this video and thank you for watching.